Lucky winners, can you believe that? I have tried beauty tips from Korean celebrities and K-pop idols as well. Where are my soul sisters? Let me hear ya flow, sister! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, your sister Union in the house today. And I just hit the desk and I'm sorry I did it again. <laughs> you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your sister Union in the house. And I'm so happy to see you guys. Today, I have a lot of fun things, excited things waiting for you guys. You probably have seen it from the thumbnails, but I have tried beauty tips from Korean celebrities and K-pop idols as well. Of course, I did use my favorite products from Skin One. 04, so stay tuned in for that. And I have a giveaway with 50 winners. Can you believe that? I've never had a giveaway this big. I want to thank Skin1004 for holding this beautiful, huge giveaway and also for partnering up with me for this very video. So you guys, we have a lot of things to go through. So let's get this party started. All right, so I have my little trusty notes down, you guys, because I wanted to tell you, first of all, how the tips worked for me. The first tip that I did was Suji's 424 cleansing uh, step or cleansing tip. This became a really popular tip, I think in 2012. So it has been a while, but it became a huge thing because some people are like four plus two plus four. What? Spending 10 minutes for your cleansing step? But Suji has amazing skin. So I think a lot of people did really want to try this. And she came out in um, Yonega Junge, this kind of um, entertainment program. And she didn't do it herself, but she had one of the MCs do it. And she talked him through the whole process. And she gave him little details and everything. So I will link all the details in the description below. And I made sure that I watched the video fully to make sure to get all her tip. And this is what happened when I tried her tip. Got my cleansing oil. Let's make this magic happen. All right, guys, it's been two minutes. I feel like I'm already done. I take my time cleansing, but oh my goodness. I have to do two more minutes of this. Woo. I just rinsed everything with water. I love this cleansing oil because everything just feels so refreshing, so light. So uh, I'm gonna move on to the second cleanser now. For this tip, uh, Suji asks us to do it for two minutes. I feel like it will be a no-brainer after the four minutes. So here we go. That marks the two minutes. That was really nice, seemed really short. I think the four minutes really trains me. Um, now we're supposed to rinse it off for four minutes. So let's do this. <sighs> Let me stop right here. It's been two minutes. <laughs> this is crazy. I literally have to sit down right now because my back hurts. Oh my goodness. <gasps> really? Two more minutes of this? Ooh. <sighs> Ooh. <sighs> done and done and done with Suji step. All right, guys. So in a nutshell, I actually do not want to recommend this tip. The only reason is because I just feel like 10 minutes is just really not necessary. And especially because I timed myself and really got to try it out. I feel like you can do a little bit more maybe. You can add 30 seconds more into your cleansing routine just to make sure that you're thorough. Uh, with removing your makeup, sunscreen, and all the soap off of your skin. But Honestly, you do not need 10 minutes. It can just do the opposite of maybe irritating your skin even more and making your skin even more dry because you're like doing that for such a long time. So 
Anyways, in a nutshell, I feel like this tip is definitely fun to check out. So I will leave the video in the description, but I do not want to recommend for the cleansing tip I did use, Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Light Cleansing Oil. This is a cleansing oil that I absolutely love from the brand. Actually, I started using this about for five to six months back even before my honeymoon uh, because I was doing a video for uh, Skin 1004 for their Centella lines and I was thinking oh my gosh they have really good cleansing products they're actually lip and eye remover I'm not gonna talk about it in this video but they're really good and their cleansing oil is also good and I know that Sue also loves this so much this has won her heart over because she was obsessed with her Bobbi Brown one but now she loves this one the best with this beauty of an oil cleanser. Get out. But I brought the same product. <gasps> no way! It was definitely a, a pick that Unisu loved and I feel like a lot of people are gonna love it and there's so much large amount in here. I used it for a very long time and it does contain Centella Asiatica extracts as one of the main ingredients. It does contain six plant-based oils. It's really light and it's so fresh. That's the best part about it and it's non-irritating and it just does such an excellent job of removing all makeup and sunscreen. It emulsifies super fast with water and after you rinse it off with water it feels so refreshing it doesn't feel iffy you're not in a rush to move on to your second cleanser and it's just a really nice cleansing oil for all seasons and i feel like for all skin types and i'm seeing a lot of the cleansing oil on social media and youtube as well i think i saw susan yara use it uh, recently too so i was like oh okay she likes it too so Okay, I hope you guys can check it out. All right, guys, so let's move on to the second tip. And this was Taeyeon's tip. It says she likes to apply toner without wiping away the water with a towel while the skin is still wet. Now, this is a tip that I was like, yes, I'm already doing this. I mean, Taeyeon's doing it. I'm doing it, you guys. So please do try it. So her tip is not to give your skin even a second of a moment of dryness. So she, she wants to make sure that right after cleansing, she puts on her toner right away. The most important thing that you need to remember here is make sure that you don't have too much water on your face because that can kind of dilute the toner that you're putting on and it just wouldn't make sense. So make sure that after you cleanse, wipe away, not with the towel, but make sure that you get some of the water off and then on your toner. And for this tip, I did use the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Hylou C Cup Brightening Toner. So this is a really good brightening toner. It hydrates while gently exfoliating your skin. It does contain AHA and LHA. And I know that you guys are familiar with AHA, but LHA is similar to BHA, but it's more gentle than BHA. Overall, this has a really light and fresh texture with like that 2% of viscosity to it. It helps with your skin condition. It improves your skin texture. It helps to prevent whiteheads. It contains 74% of Centella Asiatica water. That's why you see the Sika here. It does contain five uh, different types of hyaluronic acid. It has ceramides in here it has adenosine and it also has niacinamide for that brightening effect so for those of you that's looking for a gentle toner that can tone and that can hydrate your skin at the same time that can brighten and that can give you a little bit of that exfoliation effect this is a great toner it's humongous you guys it's 210 milliliters and this just worked beautifully with um Taeyeon's tip also all right, guys, so the next tip is so simple and I feel like you guys may be already doing it. And I'm going to name some celebrities that's actually doing this tip or that recommends it. And it is using one sheet mask a day. And I feel like I've done this before. I have videos here you guys can check out. I've tried uh, sheet masking for 30 days straight. Uh, for every single day and you guys will be able to see what happens but it really makes a difference you guys and there must be a reason why korean celebrities and so many people are doing this so let me tell you i have a whole list here so kim gohun is doing this Jung yumi song joon gi oh my gosh a little bit of bts about song joon gi in just a second and pan min young these are the celebrities that i found uh, and i found the interview because i wanted to make sure that they did say this uh, but they are doing the one sheet mask a day one sheet mask a day rule okay and i'm just 
not focused right now. I'm sorry. Let me go back to the Song Joongi little BTS, you guys. I'm gonna keep it short. When I was actually like a rookie actress back in the days, I actually filmed a movie with Song Joongi. And that was a time when he wasn't popular. He wasn't like well known. This movie was um, Itaewon Sarin Sakon. So we were at the Daebon reading. You have to read the script. Everybody gathers up and the director's there. The whole act, like the team is there. And they were practicing and you're reading it out loud with everybody. And then you're kind of doing that. And it was my very first meeting with like actors. So I was like, oh my gosh, what do I do? What do I do? You know? And um, he was really nice. I remember I sat in a seat where I had to move each time someone new came in. And I remember he was like, oh, hi. How are you? And I was like, oh, I'm great. You know, like, how are you? He's like, oh, good. Oh, you really chose a wrong seat. Like, because you have to get up every time, like, someone comes. And he was just, like, really nice. He wasn't, um, like, flirty. He wasn't like that. He was just really nice. You can generally tell that he was a nice guy. I've seen some celebrities, like, um, in my lifetime while working and things like that. But he kind of felt different. I was like, oh, wow. I feel like he's going to become really big. And then he did become big. Song Joong-gi, oppa. I think he's younger than me. Dong Seng or, you know, Song Joong-gi, if you're watching this, I love you. I love you. Hope you can remember me. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to shush up and go back to the tip, okay? So, with the sheet mask tip, this was a no-brainer. I felt like I did this before and I want to highly recommend it for you guys. I feel like you guys are already maybe doing this, but I did want to share some sheet mask do and don't basics because I do find or see some people doing it in a little bit of a wrong way. So I did want to give some of my recommendations. So the best thing you can do to see the full effect of the sheet mask is make sure to exfoliate before you maximize the effect. I'm using a cotton pad and a toner here. Um, this is a great way to physically remove that skin cells and then afterwards you can apply your sheet mask. Now, if you are out of sheet masks, you can also make your own by getting some cotton pads, toner, or you can use your serum to make your own DIY sheet mask like I did right here for you guys. Also, I do want to highly recommend to keep your suggested time for each product, which is usually 15 to 20 minutes. Or if you want to put it on for a little bit longer, make sure you take off the sheet mask before it starts drying up. When it starts drying up, it's going to start to take away that moisture from your skin. Another thing is to make sure to use something that focuses on calming and hydration hydration plus that doesn't contain overly rich nor strong ingredients because you will use it every single day so make sure the formulation is gentle enough also i do see a lot of people making this mistake make sure to store it not sideways but downwards so all serums and all the ample all the goodness in the sheet mask can evenly be distributed on the sheet mask and for this tip, I did use the serum. This is the Skin 104 Madagascar Centella Hylou C Cup Blue Serum. So I did talk about this serum recently in my fall night routine as well. This is a great serum to use for all seasons, I feel like, but it does have a more light texture that would suit more of the warm weather. As the main ingredients, it contains hyaluronic acid and Centella Asiatica, like the name itself. It also contains ceramide and niacinamide and adenosine. It helps to deeply moisturize and hydrate the outer layer of your skin. Plus it targets the inner dryness as well. So I really like the serum and it does give you that long lasting hydration that goes throughout the whole day. It works great under makeup. And um, I like to use about just one pump or two pump for the day, but I love using like three to four for the night routine just to kind of give you that hydration bomb. Personally, for me, I like this serum the best from the Hylou Sika line. Um, I feel like my skin looks so plumped afterwards and my skin feels so hydrated and it did bring my skin into a really good condition especially because uh, my skin has been feeling a little bit dull i've been working a lot and i haven't been getting too much sleep and my eating habits have not been the best uh, i felt like overall my condition was just not in the best condition but from the products this was my favorite one i felt like visibly i saw great results really fast all right guys so this is the last tip and this tip is from shiny key i love key so much he always gives really good beauty tips and also like uh cooking tips recently uh he came out in the show na honja sanda na honja sanda literally translates to i live alone so they follow the celebrities daily life so you can see them like in their personal space at their home like you know doing their own thing and it's it's a really popular one it's a really fun one i'll link some in the description below so the main tip that we wanted to follow from key is massaging his face i mean to be honest with you guys you can use 
use your rollers that you have at home. You can use gua sha. And if you don't have any of the tools, you can use your trusty hands. Personally, for me, I feel like I like using my hands the best because you can kind of control it the best because of the pressure, the way like the parts that you want to get. You can use your knuckles, you can use your hands, whatever, like whatever works, whatever floats your boat. But I did want to share with you another tip that I've been doing these days by using a ball. But I did want to mention this one thing before we move on to the how to. I felt like in the video, um, Key's face turned really red. You can do it in that way. I feel like it depends on each person. But for me, that would be so irritating for my skin. I would tug my skin. I feel like it will make uh, and it will cause and create more wrinkles for me. And 100%, I'm not really sure if he's doing it that harshly that it turned red or he just has really reactive skin like from touch. I, If I just touch my face, it'll turn red, you know? But I just want to make sure that you do not be too harsh when you are massaging your skin. And one thing that you must do before you use your hands, any other tools you want, is you have to moisturize your skin. You have to make sure that this happens so that you will not be tugging on dry skin. I think that's the worst thing you can do. So now here is my just simple how to tip that I've been doing for myself with my massage ball. All right, so I'm gonna apply a very light gel type of product. I'm gonna be using the Skin 104 Madagascar Centella Hylou Sika Sleeping Pack. I love massaging my whole face plus my neck with this ball after applying the sleeping mask. Um, this tip is amazing, you guys. I've actually been using this ball for my feet, back, legs, and neck, uh, and also my face. Of course, I don't use this very ball. I make sure I wash it and sanitize it before I use it. However, this is such a good way to give your skin overall circulation and certain parts of the face when you are massaging with the ball or with your hands, you will notice that it feels good. And at that point, just kind of press on and just roll it around a little bit. But overall, this is so easy. There's no rules for this. Just make sure you don't tug too harshly and make sure that you hydrate your skin beforehand. All right, guys, let me tell you guys about the Skin 104 Madagascar Centella High Lucica Sleeping Pack. It's a light water gel type of sleeping pack that can also be used as a light moisturizer, especially for the summertime. If you live in a hot and humid climate, it works amazing under makeup. It's a really good gentle formula for brightening and for wrinkle care as well. It contains hyaluronic acid and also Sika as the main ingredient, and it has melatonin. Melatonin is one of of the latest trendy skincare ingredients that helps to restore and improve your skin tone while helping to improve signs of aging as well. Now, this ingredient also improves the body's sleep and wake up cycle. So it's an amazing ingredient that's added to this sleeping mask. You can do your toner, serum, cream, and then use this as the last step for your sleeping mask. Or personally for me, sometimes if I do really heavy steps of like a heavy toner, like a sheet mask and a heavy ample i just kind of finish off with the sleeping mask as a moisturizer too it's totally up to you but i feel like this is a great sleeping mask because you don't really see much sleeping masks with melatonin uh, so yeah this is something that you guys should definitely check out all right guys thank you guys so much for tuning in until the very end hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget that we have 50 winners! We're looking for 50 unicorns, you guys, to give away these amazing gifts from Skin 104. So check out the description below. Also, if you guys liked Oni trying out the beauty tips from Korean celebrities, please comment below which tip you want me to try out next. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!